Hey everyone, welcome back to my vlogs. Last week I showed you guys like a bit of a tour of the plans of our house. Whereas today I'm going to be going in and delving into some of those more. Um, whereas today I'm going to be showing you the plans of certain areas in the house. So we've got um, drawn up plans of like the kitchen, the laundry, um, the walk-in pantry so I'm going to be showing you all those things and like the changes that we made and what we decided um it was it's it was actually a hard process and I thought I'd find it really fun but it was actually really stressful because I was like what if I do this wrong what if it's wrong and I stuff this up and we've spent all this money and it's wrong <laughs> so that was it wasn't that fun and I am too scared to do anything out of the ordinary so everything is very plain although i do love white i i do not regret choosing white or or any of that kind of thing for our walls um i i just wasn't confident enough to put colors in things like the cupboards and the bench top um so we've gone very plain again with all of that but then again it's not a bad thing like it'll be timeless and it won't date as quickly and you can add anything to it um you know and change your styles over time and without spending a lot of money you know just change the decor so so i guess it's not a completely bad thing um the other thing i'm going to show you is all of that the colors that we chose the bench top and all of that because um where we went for our consultation you got to take little swatches and things like that home with you so that you can remember what you chose uh, which is good because we are now in March, uh, the very end of March, and we chose all of that way back in June of last year. And had I not had all these little swatches, I would not remember a thing that I chose. Let's get into it. Um, I'll start with showing you the colours and then I'll get on to showing you the plans that we have for the kitchen, laundry and walk-in pantry. Okay, so here we go. Here is my little pack of exciting little pieces I have in here for our house. So as you can see, we went through stage three design to help us with all of our designing needs. Although my needs were very, very basic because like I said, I was too, I'm too scared to, to change much. So let's start with the exterior of the house. And we've got so this is exterior cladding. It's kind of like a, a grey. Obviously, I've got a ring light on here now and I, I it might change the colour look a bit. But it's it's basically like a, a mid-tone grey, I guess you could say. Not too dark, not too light. Just right. Um, and it looks so nice. So it's on the house already. I'll um, pop a photo in here so that you can see. Or a video. Um, and I, I'm so happy with the colour choice. I love it so much. And we are pairing that with our colour steel roof and the spouting. Oh, and I didn't even remember this, but it's also the colour of our garage door. And, oh, sorry, this colour is called, uh, so it's Resine Delta. That's the name of this one. It's from Resine and it's called Delta. This one is called Windsor Grey colour steel. So cladding roof and garage door and what did I say? Spouting. Spouting. So that's what that looks like. So this is for the front door and it is a Dulux matte charcoal and I mean it's it pretty much looks like see I'm the type of person who's like white is white like you don't realize how many shades of white there is or how many shades of black there is. I was really surprised. I was just like this something close to that and then the last thing would be the aluminium I believe not in here okay I thought I had the color of the okay but the um is it aluminium oh, you're gonna find out that I don't know the names of things the um the metal around your window that is all white so I've gone for the gray white and dark roof it's all come together now and it's beautiful i absolutely love it so i'm very happy with those choices so inside the house we have the walls so this is where we go i i 
believe there's just white but apparently there isn't so I asked for white walls so this is the interior walls and it is resin black white would you believe um, on camera this looks slightly gray but it is in in normal light this is a white piece of paper you know <laughs> so, and then for the ceilings woodwork and interior doors the suffites and eaves is resin half black white so walls are black white and everything else is half black white they look like the same color like they look the same but apparently it makes a difference so I'm just gonna go with what these experts say so walls and ceiling for our oh what's oh here it is oh, it's called joinery you know how I was trying to say the metal stuff around the <laughs> the the metal stuff around the windows it's called joinery windows and doors it's dulux uh matte appliance white so that's it's white for our kitchen cabinets we have gone for maltica snowdrift satin it's white <laughs> no change there it's just another white things and on top of my kitchen cabinetry, oh, uh, clearly I'm not good with change, um, is our kitchen bench top. And it is the exact same bench top as we had in our last house. But in saying that, I loved that bench top. I thought it was great. Like any little scratches or anything that the kids made on it, which were hard to do in the first place. But if they, if it did manage to happen, it kind of was hidden in by all these little speckles. Um, I just, I wanted a really bright, light house. And because our living areas are, I'm going to say smaller than the last house, although they're an open, it's open plan, so it might, it will feel a little bit different. I wanted to just go really light, bright, and quite coastal. I know I'm not very unique. Uh, I know I'm not, like, making anything super special. I just wanted something really clean and light was my what I wanted pretty much so there we go bench top and kitchen cabinetry essentially the same as our last house um I don't have a picture of it and I was certain that we were given a piece of it but I can't find it anywhere and Martin reckons we weren't was our um the splash black the splash back in the kitchen um or some people call it backsplash I don't know what I don't what's what's the correct way to say it I always thought it was back uh splash back splash back backsplash whatever I mean they do, it does the same thing um so that is like so instead of tiles which I hated cleaning I hated cleaning those tiles in our last house um we got the glass splash back because I felt like it was going to be so much easier to just wipe down and clean um so the color of that was like a I hope I can remember because I don't have it and so I'm hoping that I think I remember I ordered a like a, a bl very light blue like a yeah I've got no examples it's like a really light blue <laughs> a greeny blue or something that's what I'm hoping I ordered anyway right onto the flooring so we have carpet here now this is called Cable Bay. A whole bunch of information on the back here, which I'm not sure if you're interested in, so I won't worry about it. But this is the carpet. Um, it's slightly, maybe a few shades darker than the carpet we had in our old house. I loved the carpet we had in our old house. Um, and it actually wasn't that old when we moved out. We'd just done it probably a year, two years prior. Um, and it was really nice. It was really squishy to touch and the underlay we got extra thick So the trick is if you don't have a huge budget is to get really good underlay and then get kind of cheaper carpet That's what we did and um, It felt lovely underfoot. So we've kind of gone the same thing I don't actually know if this is expensive or cheap carpet. It looks to me just like normal standard carpet because we Just they they just had a range of colors for us to choose from we didn't actually delve into the different types of carpet they just gave us a whole bunch of these and said which color do you like so this is the color I chose and that was to go with um, the flooring so we've got vinyl planks and all of the kind of like what you would call wet areas so the bathrooms 
the ensuite, the bathroom, the um, kitchen and pantry and dining area all have the vinyl planks. Uh, the lounge and everywhere else, all the bedrooms um, have the carpet. So because this um, is going to be directly next to the carpet where it when it changes from lounge to dining I wanted it to match and I thought they matched really good however <laughs> however I decided to change this very last minute so our house is six weeks away from being finished and only about one month ago I'm gonna say I decided to change my mind on the vinyl plank color so don't be one of those people. <laughs> you want to be happy, but try and change it a bit sooner than I did. I managed to get it changed, but I was really like cutting it very fine. Um, I just had a change of heart. I felt like this color was going to get super washed out with just all the light colors. It was just, everything was just going to be too white. And I felt like this was going to be too washed out. So I've actually changed this to more like a warmer, um, honeyer, warmer honeyer warmer honeyer interesting a warmer honey type color um kind of maybe similar to the color we have here on the woodwork in the caravan so i'm gonna do you know what i'll insert a picture here of the photos me and martin took when we went to go find another one so and i feel so much better about that color choice i feel i feel good about changing the flooring and I'm glad I did. All right you guys that's it for the color changes and the swatches and everything so now I'm going to be showing you the plans for the kitchen, laundry and the pantry. So I'm going to be switching over to my laptop now. Okay so here is the laundry. We're going to start with that because this is the only one that um, with the space we had uh, what we planned is pretty much all we could do with it. So we've we haven't made any changes to that. So if we look down the bottom here this is a a uh, bird's eye view of the laundry with uh, this side being going into the house and this side being the garage. So going into the garage we this is a cavity slider and here we have no door at all it's just a walkway and as I explained in my last video we felt like we didn't want any doors we wanted it to feel like a more open area so there's just the door there to separate the, the garage from the rest of the house. Um, this wall here, um, or should we look over here? So this wall here in the original plan, uh, was actually not this deep. It was very small and it was just a door opened up onto this wall and there was nothing else. And I felt like it was a waste of space. There was a whole wall there that I could have done something with. So I decided to, uh, put, um, some shelving, like a, some shelving and a cupboard in so behind this wall here if we look onto this picture if we look behind if we're looking in this wall here this is roman's bedroom in here and his wardrobe backs onto this wall so what we did is bought the ward roman's wardrobe in a bit so that we could bring this wall out a bit so then we had room to put this these like little cubbies um so if we go onto this picture over here this one hopefully you can see my little cursor um, you can see we've got four little cubbies here and then a cupboard so this cupboard has a plug in it and this is where I plan on just like chucking my Dyson and so that it can stay plugged in in there and then maybe some brooms or something like that um, and then the four cubbies here are to put laundry baskets in because there was actually nowhere in this laundry to put any laundry baskets um, because in the original plan the door opened up onto this wall so there was really no way to put a laundry basket so I created these so I can separate the laundry as well and then just a small bench up here to I don't know maybe fold some washing or something like that it's just some extra space I felt like I wanted to use the space on the other side so we'll look at this picture here or this one here um I really wanted the washer and dryer to be on the ground but there just was not enough space it's a very small laundry it's a, it's actually bigger laundry than what we had at the last house um, but it's still a relatively small laundry um, 
so we needed to stack them on top of each other and my worry was that because I'm so short <laughs> that I wouldn't be able to reach it but apparently that's not going to be a problem and it's it's going to be quite low down um, so that's fine so we've stacked them on top of each other we've got the little cabinet above the dryer then we just have these cupboards which I don't know what's going to go on them no idea no idea but we've got a sink and um, what we realized in our plan was there is no tap at all been purchased for the sink so me and Martin are gonna have to go out and go find a tap um, to put in here because it's not in the plan at all so that's a whoopsie daisy but never mind um, I mean that's not hard like I can go out this weekend and go buy a, a, a tap you know it's not a big deal um, so this is the laundry all right going to the pantry we're going back to my phone now rather than a screen record on my laptop so this is the original pantry so kitchen's here go in and it had a bench here and then two shelves and again another empty wall and another empty wall and then these walls were empty up here and I just felt like again I want to make the absolute most use of space that I possibly can so I um, obviously changed it to have a lot more um, uh, cabinetry which increases the price but I just felt like it was worth it to have the most use of space so we changed it to look more there we go more like this so as you can see in the original compared to now so now we've got that same um, bench that they had but it's been extended and then added cabinetry up here and then made a corner um, pantry cabinet I don't know what you call it and then extended it all the way to the wall along there so obviously this little bit here can I know either put a recycling bin or put the meal planner on the wall or hang I don't know just a little space in the wall probably I'm gonna say there probably will be a wall planner because I might do my menu on there or something like that perhaps but at least there is a tiny little bit of wall space, but I feel like this was um, a much more better use of the space than the original plan. Um, did cost <laughs> a few thousand dollars more than the original plan, obviously, but I think it was totally worth it. So I can't wait to fill this up with all my baking stuff. I've started collecting sprinkles <laughs> because I love putting sprinkles on my cupcakes and things. Um, so I've started collecting sprinkles. Sounds like a really weird thing to start collecting. So I bought all of the um, click clack containers for all of my baking stuff. And then um, there's a little spot in here. Where can I show you? It'll be this one. There will be a plug there to put the microwave in. I like to have the microwave low because then the kids can make their own noodles and popcorn and melt the butter for me and things like that. When it's up high, a, I can't reach it and my kids can't reach it. So now it's a lot lower down. And then over here there's um, some more plugs. So we'll probably have Martin's um, coffee machine and things like that in there too. But if you have any advice on how to set up this pantry, please leave them in the comments below because... This is going to take a while for me to set up. I have no idea what I'm doing and I don't know where I should put anything. <laughs> On to the original kitchen plans. This is the original here. So in the original plan there is a pantry here. A single fridge. The extractor. Oh my gosh, because I'm filming I've got complete mind blanks. I cannot remember what this is called. But the fan there and then on this side. Drawers, dishwasher, cupboard, microwave and a little drawer. So we changed this again and put all the bits and pieces we wanted in. So I will bring that up onto my laptop to show you. Alright, so here is our kitchen, our new kitchen plan that we made some changes to and it's actually changed again since this picture. So I will quickly go through this and show you the most updated picture. It's mostly to do with these little, uh, this wine rack here. So in the plan, um, we changed the single fridge to a double fridge. We went and got a nice new um I think it's the Samsung fridge with the beverage showcase is the one that we got. Um, so it's a double fridge and was not going to fit in that little space. So we've changed that. Uh, we pulled out, there was that um, 
pantry here so we pulled that out because we don't need it and put in two sets of drawers and we've added in all this cabinetry up here to um, cover this extractor fan is it called oh my gosh what is it called range hood range hood um so we put all these cabinets in front of it and just made it look really streamlined and then we've added an led lights underneath of this cabinet as well so they'll shine down underneath onto this splashback which i think will look really nice um to the others is that the only changes i made oh and the reason we had to put in these wine because me and martin are not wine drinkers at all we don't really have <laughs> that much wine to fill all this it was just more to make the space between the fridge and this wall because this wall's actually been extended uh, we needed it for another reason in the house to be extended um, but when we opened up the fridge door it would bang onto this wall and you wouldn't be able to pull out like the bins for your fruit and vegetables and it was just not going to work so we added that in so that there was that extra space to be able to open the um fridge door um turned out it still was not enough space so i'm going to bring up the m current plans so as you can see here we've extended it out to have a whole bunch of so this wall um even though it was already framed had to be moved so luckily it hadn't been jibbed and, and insulated and all that it was just the framing so they ended up having to remove this wall and move it over uh, which didn't have any impact on that doorway thank goodness it was just like it's hard to oh god I find things so hard to explain I'm so sorry um, but they could move it and it didn't make an impact on that walkway there uh, but it's increased the size in here so that the fridge now we can actually open the door the full how many degrees it can open and now we have these cute um, open shelves Martin wanted the door to these shelves to be on because um, he likes the streamlined look whereas I was like you know what there's so much white in this kitchen if we leave these shelves open I can put like cane baskets in there and then it would just give it a little bit of extra um texture I guess texture and color to the kitchen because it was all going to be very white even though the well the fridge is black as well fridge is black oven's black hob is black and ironically enough the dishwasher is silver so I don't we've got a whole bunch of different <laughs> colors in there for that um but I think the baskets in here would be a nice look otherwise yeah I don't know we had to have it to be able to open the fridge so it's there now So a look on the other side, so we're looking over at this picture, um, we swapped the order of all this around, we took out, um, in that first picture it had the uh, microwave down here with a little thing, a little drawer, we actually put the microwave in the walk-in pantry so we didn't need it, so now we've gone dishwasher, um, under sink cupboard, under sink cupboard, uh, this is the rubbish bin, cannot remember what this bottom drawer is, if it's anything to do with the rubbish bin or it's its own drawer, I actually cannot remember. And then we've got like your cutlery drawers and tea towels and things like that and these ones. I will probably need your guys help in figuring out what to put where because I have no idea. Um, and the original plan came with just a single like a really small sink so we've changed it to a lot bigger sink and this one's um an insincorator as well which we've had to add on extra honestly you start with a base plan and you add and you add and you add and you add and then the next minute you've spent like another 30 40 50 60 70 thousand dollars um which ours has increased in price by yeah, I'm going to say nearly $80,000 extra we've spent on all the extras. So that's great. <laughs> all right, there we have it, guys. That is the video for this week. And next week, hopefully, I might be doing the tour of the 3D tour of the actual inside of the house that I made myself. Um, we were going to do it through a company, but they charged so much money so so much money it just wasn't even worth it like I'm talking a couple of thousand dollars and I was like nah I was doing it myself in my spare time and I found a website and made it myself and it turned out pretty good it's a pretty good idea of what everything looks like of course not everything is perfect but um that's a story for another time
next week in fact <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe if you haven't already comment um give me any of your ideas i'm gonna need some ideas really soon like our house is only six ish weeks away from being built so i'm gonna need a lot of help with styling of this house because i am not good at styling things um so yeah make sure you put a comment below if you have any questions or any advice and pop on over to tiktok if you haven't already and join us on tiktok because martin's in charge of our tiktok so anything that's on there is pretty much from him maybe the odd one if there's anything about the cat <laughs> the cat is all me i love my cat jake I d i've never loved an animal as much as i've loved jake i mean max and vice i did love them but jake is just on another level he's just so funny um so yeah any tiktoks you see is probably from me if they're about jake but martin's taken over that sort of thing so if you have any um anything you want to see on tiktok specifically also put them in the comments here if you want to and i'll check them and if martin wants to make them he will and of course a lot of things are going to change soon when we're in our new house um like the content will probably change i'll get back into the weekly vlogs um but also i'm going to have my own tiktok which um won't have me or the kids or anything in it it's more like it'll be the styling it'll be the restocking it'll be the cleaning vlogs you know just those really there's a very there's a group a niche group of us who just love watching other people clean and restock i know I know it's weird, but I just, I love it. I'm like, well, maybe I could do that on TikTok. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, um, and I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye.